Simon Says, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. When you take a poll, create a survey, or make a quiz to understand others' perceptions, these fillable forms help you in a variety of ways. One important element of a fillable form is the radio button, also called the options button. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to insert radio buttons in Excel. So without further ado, let us get right into it. One of the foremost requirements when you insert radio buttons in Excel is to enable the Developer tab. To enable the Developer tab, open the Excel worksheet and right click on the ribbon. Make sure to click between the ribbon option rather than the space after the options. Select Customize the ribbon. This opens the Excel Options dialog box. In the dialog box, click the checkbox for Developer and click OK. Once the Developer tab is enabled, let us see how to insert a radio button in Excel. To insert a radio button, navigate to the Developer tab. Under the Controls section, click on the drop-down from the Insert and click on the Option button. This changes the default mouse pointer to a crosshair-like pointer. Left-click and populate the radio button with the default width. You can see that the populated button has two names, one in the alt text, which is visible on the worksheet, which you can click and rename it. The other name can be seen in the name box, called the backend name, which does not change even after you rename the radio button. Hold the control key and click on the radio button. This outlines the button. You can then use the anchor points to move or resize the radio buttons. You can double click on the text to rename the text. When you move or resize the button, you can hold the Alt to snap the button to the dimensions of the grid lines. Now, click away. This exits the selection mode. Hereafter, you can now click on the radio button to check it. This inserts one radio button. In the same way, you can add multiple radio buttons. Inserting the radio button only adds the button on the screen. There is no validation or data to serve as a value for the selected radio button. In this case, linking a radio button provides definitive data in the reference cell based on your selection. To link the radio buttons to the cell, right-click on the radio button and select Format Control. Navigate to the Control tab. You can see if the radio button is checked or unchecked from the Value option. To link a cell, enter any cell number in the Cell Link text box. Or, you can click on the small upward and select the cell. Click OK. Let us now see how to group options in Excel. Navigate to the Developer ribbon. From the Insert drop-down, click on the Group Box option. This changes the default pointer to a crosshair. Now, outline the options that you want to group together. Change the name of the group by double-clicking on the cells or right-clicking on Selecting Edit Text. Select all the options, including the grouping box, then right-click on it and select Group. When you group options together, the selection will only pertain to that particular option and not the other options in the other cell. Using the above-mentioned methods, create the radio buttons, create a group box, link the cell to a reference cell, and finally right-click to group the cells. This way you can independently select the options from different groups and they'll reflect in the referenced cell. In case you're not satisfied with the option listed for the radio button, or you want to delete the whole options radio button, there are a couple of easy methods to do that. To delete a radio button, you have to first select the option by holding the control key. This highlights the radio button instead of just selecting the radio button. If you want to highlight all the options in the radio button, select one option and press control plus A. Now press delete to delete the selected options. In this video, we saw how to insert radio buttons in Excel. We also saw how to link the radio buttons, group them, and delete the radio buttons. Radio buttons are a useful feature to know the user validation and use to perform certain functions and operations. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there and click over there 
to see more videos from Simon Says It.